Hey, what's up you amazing hackers? Hope you're all doing well today. I'm going to take you through one of my challenges. Welcome to my twisted mind, my friends. So let's get right into it, shall we? Now this one is called Cheese Block 15. The link might be different, but it's going to be in the description below if you want to hack along. So what we're looking for is a reflected cross-site scripting. And it's going to be on the search page in this case. Now, first things first, I need to see what I can do on this search page. So I'm just going to throw a lot of things at it. I'm going to see what happens if I basically throw my normal cross-site scripting attack factor at it. So it seems that it just gets reflected in this case. Okay, that seems strange. Maybe there's some filter on it. Maybe it's HTML entities. It seems like it's simply the cross-site scripting attack factor that's in here. Let me see if I can select it real quick. Apparently not, so let's just do it like this. Okay, so I have my image source equals X in here. But as you can see, it's not rendering on the page, so that must mean there is some filtering going on in the back end, right? So what can I do about this? Well, first of all, let me try some really crazy stuff. Let's just throw everything I can at it Let's see what this gives me. Now, as you guys can see, nothing found for blah, blah, blah. So nothing in here that's going to work. Now let's see, okay, what can I try? Maybe I can try some kind of null byte behind this. I don't know, Ooh, that's not a null byte, of course. Uh, percentage zero, zero, a null byte. That's going to possibly work, but it's not working in this case. Uh, percent zero zero and let's type some random text behind it so it shows up but that's not going to be it in this case what's going to happen in this case and this is where my first clue is going to come in is I'm going to try some URL encoded attack factors because of course I'm going to go through my list and you guys will see because I'm going to go through all of my challenges and when I go through my list there's a lot of different things that I can try now in this case I'm going to try and URL encode something. Now let's just try and do a percentage sign, shall we? Now, as you can see, I'm going to find some results in here. So I'm just going to try a percentage sign with some random text in here to get that reflection again. And then as you can see, that's doing something strange in here. It's, it's not showing that percentage sign like I had it intentionally. It's showing something different. And that should give you your first clue. This should give you something like an entry point, something you can hold on to. This is where I want to introduce double encoding, triple encoding, quadruple encoding. You can go as deep as you want, as many layers as needed. So what's happening in this case is whenever I enter the percentage 25 sign, it gets basically converted to a percentage sign. It gets URL decoded in the background. And then I can enter whatever I want behind here, like for example, 3C, which is going to be a greater than sign. And then I'm going to enter my image source equals X and then on error equals alert, because there's no, uh, there's no weird things going on here. And then I can do basically the same thing, but instead of 3C, I can do 3E for the less than sign. And then whenever I pop that up, there we go, my cross-set scripting attack factor inserts. So that's it for challenge 15. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I'll see you in the next one and I hope you guys will find a million bucks while doing bug bounties. Bye bye amazing hackers, see you later.